Are you looking to determine the value of your house or property or commercial entity? This video is for you. Too many people look at what active data is available or what's for sale when trying to determine the price on their property. When the only real way to determine the price on the property is what's transacted or sold. This is all the banks look at, this is all the appraisers look at, and this is all the real estate agents should look at when properly pricing your property. Now, some people will go to an appraiser. And appraisers are great. They will give you a realistic ballpark what your property is worth. However, I find a lot of times they're more optimistic than realistic. And the other thing I find with appraisals is they don't keep in mind how long it took certain properties to sell. I've looked at appraisals where it took five to seven years to sell a house, and they're using this as a comparable to a house uh, that someone wants to sell in 30 days. The price for someone that wants to sell in 30 days or three months or six months in a year is different than someone that wants to sit on it for a decade. So this is also very important when you price your property. Now you can always start higher and work your way down. What I suggest you do is you have scheduled price reductions. Automatic price reductions that lower the price as time progresses to bring your property closer to market value. Otherwise you'll be sitting on it until the market gets up to your current price. And markets don't always go up. They go up and down. And in, uh, and in parts of PEI in the cities, prices have actually gone down certain years. So that's it for today. If you would like to enter my contest to win an iPad, go to ipad.michaelshomes.com. That's it for now.